hello to all you out there. I was just compelled to do this video. Just want to let you all know. And you should know by now that we are living in a perilous time. And if everybody that had the platform out there should take time out, go on their platform and pray, pray, pray that God will heal the land. This pandemic is going on too long and that is telling me that we all need to pray whether you are Christian, non-Christian, believers, non-believers, everyone need to pray, pray, pray. The Bible tells you that prayer changes things. And God is waiting to see and to hear all his children bow before him and pray. In his word he says, If my people that are called by my name should humble themselves and pray and seek from their wicked ways, then I will heal the land. And that is what he's waiting for, for us to get that healing. I am compelled to say this to you all. Let us pray, pray, pray. Let us ring the prayer bells of heaven. Some men say prayer bells of heaven. Oh, sweetly they ring. Bearing a message unto Jesus our King. When we ring the prayer bells of heaven, God will hear our prayer and the land will be healed. When Paul and Silas were thrown in jail, they did not stop praying. They pray, pray, pray. And God hear their prayer and burst the prison bar open. When Daniel was thrown in the lion's den, Daniel prayed, prayed, prayed. Daniel never stopped praying and calling upon God. And God shut the lion's mouth. Daniel and the lions became friends. The three Hebrews boy was thrown in the fiery furnace, but they never give up. They call on God. And when they call on God and pray, 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 God was dear in the fiery furnace with them. And even though they heated the fiery furnace to the maximum, None of the three Hebrews boy will ever get a burn. That is the God we serve. And that is the God that listening and waiting to hear our saints cry. We need to call upon God this morning. Father, in your name, we commit everything in your hands this morning. Father God, we beg of you, Jesus. You're the God of all gods. You're the everlasting Father and the Prince of Peace. God, you never slack concerning your promises. And you promise that you will heal the land. And this morning, I am calling upon you, God. Because you are the God of all gods. You are the everlasting Father and you are the Prince of Peace. And this morning, Jesus, so many innocent life are going down in the pit. So many innocent lives, so many families right now are praying, calling upon your name, begging you that you will heal the land. Father God, we need to send back this disease where it comes from. We don't know what it is, Lord we only hear that it's a virus. We don't know what it is, but you know everything. You see us everything. God, you know and see everything. You know what is going on in the world today. 
we may we may fail to know but you know god because you are the god of all gods you sit high you look low you listen to every silent conversation and you see every hidden things father god you are the god of all god and let your people know jesus that we need to call upon your name we need to pray 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 God, you tell us in your word that prayer changes things. They said the effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. And this morning, God, if all your people, young, small, big, old, middle age, old age, everybody need to go down. The old world need to go down in prayer and calling upon your name ringing the prayer bells of heaven that you will send down your guardian angel to guide and protect us and to heal the land father god i know you're the god of all gods you never change you never lose your power you're the same yesterday today and forever and this morning i am asking people to go down on your knees and pray Take your platform and send out prayers of deliverance. Prayer to deliver the people, your people, Lord, your people, your people, your people, the people that are suffering this morning, people that are lying down in their bed of affliction, people that are lying down in the hospital, suffering, Lord. God, we need your help. We need your help. Help, Jesus help we need your help from heaven god this morning i am calling unto you jesus because you are the god of all gods you never lose your power god you say you don't give us the the feelings of fear fear jesus we ask you to remove it from us send it back from whence it came burn it up lord burn it up jesus send it back jesus don't give us the, the spirit of fear but to hold on to your unchanging hand and to know that you are god and you are the only one that can heal this land Father God, we need the healing of this land, Jesus. So many people, oh dear Lord, are suffering. So many families are living in fear right now. But take away the spirit of fear, Jesus. Give us the victory, victory in your name. God, we know it's the devil desire to save all his children as weed. But God... If you are at the vessels, we shall smile at the storm. Master, the tempest is raging and the billows are tasking high right now. And it's only you, Jesus, can remove, can remove everything, Father God. Only you can give us this feeling, Jesus, that we need. Father God, we need everything to come back to what it used to be and to what it was this morning i beg you lord i am calling upon your name jesus because thou art worthy thou art worthy O lord to receive glory honor and power father god people all over the world innocent people innocent people lord that doesn't know nothing about this pandemic Father God are losing their life innocently. And God in your words you said, Ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek and it shall be found. Knock and it shall be open unto you. This morning we are asking you, Jesus. We are asking you this morning for a spiritual breakthrough. We are asking you this morning that you will heal the land. We are asking you this morning, God, that you will rebuke, discharge every plans of the enemy that is set upon your children this morning. God, we are asking you to, to open up the windows of heaven. Pour down your blessing upon your children. Your healing blessing, Jesus. 
God, we know sickness were not from you, but it's from the plans of the enemy. And right now, this morning, the enemy is giving us a fight. But God, your children need to know that they need to go down and pray. And all I'm asking for right now is that every living creatures on the face of this land and in the ear of my voice to stretch forth their hands towards heaven and pray, pray, pray. God has said, if my people that are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray. And this is what I'm asking for, that your people this morning, every living creature is your unmade. Every living creature is your people this morning. And God, I am asking in the sound and the hear of my voice. Let us all pray, pray, pray. That's all I am asking for this morning. Is that everybody, even if you can't pray, it doesn't matter. Whatever you say, God will hear and understand. Even if you have to say, Lord, heal the land, he will understand. But just pray, pray, pray. That is what he asks us to do and that is what he is waiting for us to do this morning. And I guarantee you that if every jack man in the face of the hurt that is experienced in this pandemic will stretch forth their hands towards heaven and pray, then God will heal the land. The same way you can go out there and make song about this pandemic you can pray didn't say if my people should make song then he will heal the land he didn't say if my people should go out and talk their bull crap then i'll heal the land he said if my people that are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray then he will heal the land and that is what he's asking for this morning. He just want to see us to pray to him and beg him, ask him, humble yourself before him this morning, and then he will heal him. And I beg of you this morning to pray, 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 pray. That's all I'm asking for everybody to pray, 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 pray. God want to hear us. He want to hear us cry to Him. He want to hear us go beg Him, bow on our knees and beg Him. And He's listening for us to pray. He's listening hard for to hear all those prayer directing up towards heaven. This morning I beg you, whether you are saved or not unsaved, you are a believer. You are a non-believer, it doesn't matter. You all, we all are created by God. We are his handmade and he wants us to send forth the prayers up to him. Let us ring the prayer bells of heaven. And I guarantee you if we all live, ring the prayer bells of heaven, it doesn't matter what time, what day, what hour, it doesn't matter. Just ring the prayer bells of heaven. Then God will heal our land. This is a time now for everybody to go out and pray. We are doing this thing. This thing is going on too long. And that tells us that people out there, only some people are praying. Everybody from the face of the herd need to go down and to pray to God. I beg of you this morning. I plead up to you this morning, my friends. Let us pray, pray, pray. He told us in his word. He said if we humble ourselves and pray, then he will heal our land. And we need to do that this morning. I beg of you this morning that we need to pray, pray, pray. Let us ask God for his deliverance. Deliver us, Lord. Stretch forth your mighty hands from heaven and deliver us. Just like how oh, you deliver Daniel, you deliver the three Hebrews, boy. God, you're the omnipotent God. You never fail. 
You never fail, you never slack concerning your promises. And God, we are begging you this morning that you will heal the land. Let us pray, pray, pray. I beg of you this morning, whoever is hearing the sound of my voice this morning, that you will stretch forth your hands towards heaven and pray. Let us use this platform that we have to send out prayers. If everybody that have a platform this morning should go and hit and send up prayers up on top of prayers, pray without ceasing, pray, 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 and send out prayers, then God will hear our prayers. The effective, fervent prayers of a righteous man avail it much. And we need to send our prayers to God. The pastors are praying. The members are praying. The believers are praying. We need all you unbelievers. We need everybody in the face of the hurt this morning. Pray, pray, pray. I was compelled to do this this morning. To come here and to tell everybody in the sound of my voice this morning to let us pray 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 and if we pray then we will see miracles and miracles and miracles happen this world will just fall right back in place the pandemic will be over the disease will be done people will be stopped suffering but all we got to do is pray, pray, pray. I beg of you this morning, the sound of my voice, let us pray, pray, pray. I pray every day, I pray morning, I pray noon, I pray night. But I'm not alone because the Bible says, if my people, I am only one person. If my people... And that is what God is waiting on. He's waiting on us to send out prayers. The pastors alone can do it. The church members alone can do it. Everybody that is on the face of the hurt that is affected by this pandemic need to go down on their knees and pray. I beg of you this morning, let us pray. Pray. Let us bind the spirit of fear. Let us bind the spirit of defeat right now the devil is a liar let us put him under our feet and trample him and let us know that he cannot win and he will not win all we have to do is to pray the devil is afraid of prayer and this morning that's what we need to do is to go out we to go down on our knees and pray 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 at the sound of my voice this morning whoever hear me this morning all you have to do let us go down on our knees and pray pray prayer is a spiritual weapon the weapon of warfare and there is no weapon that is stronger that is better than prayer Prayer is a spiritual weapon, and that's what God listened to, his prayer. And if we don't pray and take this thing for a joke, this pandemic will never go away. All we have to do is to pray, 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 pray. I thank you this morning that you hear at the sound of my voice that you will obey what the Lord has said unto his people. That if his people are called by his name, shall humble himself and pray, and cease from their wicked ways, then he will heal the land. And I guarantee you this morning, if everybody go down and pray, 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 we will see miracles. Because one person cannot pray. Because it's not one person that is facing this, it's the whole wild world. So the whole wild world, everybody, doesn't matter what nation you're from, you need to go down and pray this morning. I beg of you this morning, let us bind the forces of darkness. Let us cripple the plans of the enemy. And the only way we can do this is to pray, pray. Pray. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Amen and amen.